Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to the vlog. It is currently quarter to eight, which is way earlier than I'm up on days that I work, but my sleep schedule is really messed up. And so what I'm going to try to do, and I tried to do today and it failed pretty miserably, is get up pretty early in the morning, edit my vlog in the morning, and post it. So the plan was to get up at six. It didn't happen. <laughs> and then I reset my alarm for 6.30 and then for 7. And then finally 7.30 and I finally dragged my bed out of bed at 7.30. So this vlog isn't going to get up, the one that I'm about to edit, at 8 o'clock because I only have 13 minutes to edit it, export it, and upload it. And I still have like two and a half minutes of rendering. So it's not going to happen. But that is okay because we are trying. My voice is kind of not here yet today. But... I'm going to try to be productive today. I'm going to try to drink more water today because that is a thing that I have not been doing well with lately. And I wrote a list last night because I'm like, I'm going to get up at 6 and I'm going to be confused and I'm not going to know what to do. But I'm not as confused and tired because it was 7.30 when I got up. But I'm up now. I'm just going to make myself cozy. Got to get this because I don't want to wake anybody up. And then um just gonna do my thing so welcome to the vlog let's see how long we can stay conscious for today Alrighty, so it is now 10 to 10 and I have like six things crossed off my list, which is pretty impressive. I showered because, oh, I desperately needed it. I feel so good. And as you saw, I cleaned my room. So it's nice and beautiful and not at all stressful to me. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to put on a little bit of makeup so I feel awake and then um, maybe make like an actual meal because I just had my breakfast drink this morning and I am a little bit peckish so I might make some food but I think that like after that the next step is I'm gonna see about getting the air soluble ink out of this like you can hardly see it like I don't even know if you can see it it's like right there's a little bit right above that E there but yeah it's pretty it's pretty much gone there's just a little bit there. It's not focusing, but I promise there is a little bit right there. And I think there's a little bit up here too. It's not crazy noticeable, but I don't want to iron this and then that make it set or something. So I'm just going to try to get it wet and see if that helps. Because uh, obviously I threw out the uh, instructions. So I'm going to do that for all my pieces because I do have quite a few here. If you didn't see them the other day, obviously the pew pew pew. Knife to meet you. <laughs> This one actually, you know what, like, as the days have been going on, so you can see the line a little bit better here, but it has been disappearing. Uh, let us be grateful. Leave me alone. <laughs> this frog. Girls supporting girls. I don't think I showed that one yet. You're just as sane as I am. This one, I feel, has a lot of that air soluble. I don't know if you can see it right above the, between the S and the A there, but it's less noticeable because of the fabric. <laughs> Wayo! Again, this guy has a fair amount, I think. And then I did this crane. But the problem is, it's got two different colors. <laughs> Barely noticeable, but I know that this line here, and that line there, and that line there are slightly different pinks. <laughs> Super annoying, but I don't hate it. I really hated it the night I finished it, but I think I like it a little bit more now. Maybe the concept I like. I think that color situation is still gonna annoy me forever. I can easily, because it's just one line or one string or whatever, I could just cut it out and redo that. I just, I don't know. Anyways, I like the idea of doing cranes though, but maybe I'd do them on like the three inch one. That is not three inches. But that's the plan for today is to kind of start to get those sorted because I'm a little bit worried because obviously they're not finished edges so they're gonna fray more and more the more I move them. So I'm kind of just trying not to touch them and I wouldn't mind trying some new techniques like I watched a couple of videos last night about how to make some flowers 
things and it would be nice to make flowers and make things pretty anyways I'm gonna my face and um, then I think make some food like I said but I'm feeling pretty good so far so good as long as we can keep this level I need to do laundry today but I'm trying to wait out the weather and it is storming like crazy outside winter storm warning in effect okay Google thank you so yeah winter storm warning in effect that is fun it's been going since I mean when I got home the wind was really picking up and it was raining and it's just gotten worse and worse overnight and this morning so that's fun anyways I've been rambling so I'm gonna go like I said and then maybe make some food and then try to sort out those guys and then I did watch some videos on how to finish them and I just need to find my hot glue gun. I watched like two different techniques and I definitely think the hot glue gun one is the one that I'm vibing with a little bit more. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling now though. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me we meant to be Outdoors, forever free. Alrighty, so I cooked breakfast for my mom and I, and we just finished eating. I just came up and I checked on all the embroidery pieces, and they still need to dry, but I think it looks like it's gone, which is nice. But I was reading that sometimes it'll reappear when it's dry but that was the water soluble I'm using the air soluble and it just didn't come off fully so we will see my hair is just I'm just using clips to hold it back right now because I went out of my way anyway we're gonna go downtown here to get something for dinner ew, 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 ew. and um, we need to pick up a couple things so I need to I'm, I'm fully dressed in sweatpants but I'm fully dressed I'm not even wearing pajamas anymore today so that is exciting so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna I'm gonna just put on another pair of socks because it's like minus two out there because of the wind but other than that I think I'm pretty much good to go so that is exciting but yeah I've been having a pretty productive day my mom woke up at like just before 11 I think and she was like Oh, I'm surprised you're up before me and I'm like honey I've been up for hours because like let's see 7 30 so 8 30 9 30 10 30 I was already up for three and a half hours at that point so <sighs> yeah I know most normal people wake up early but I've just been struggling lately so hopefully we can keep waking up relatively around the same time each day and um, go from there <laughs> But I'm gonna go now because I've been rambling and I will double check that my G7X is in my purse And then maybe I can remember to vlog while I am out because I want to pick up a couple things for My crafting purposes. We'll see if it happens <laughs> I forgot I'm supposed to be vlogging. It's busy everywhere. Ugh. It is very windy and stormy outside. I know I said there's a winter warning in effect, but it is bad. The ferries were down for a bit, but I'll just be happy to go home and not have to worry about this. I'm in nice comfy clothes, so I don't even need to change, and then we'll get stuff done. All right, I am back home now, and I've got the iron heating up here. I got my Timmy's because it is a miserable day. I've got a towel, and we're gonna iron and hope this works out and then assuming it goes to plan I'm going to dig out my hot glue gun assuming I remember where it is I think I know where it is and then we're gonna get to business I'm excited I think it should be good and then as I start to get these dealt with then I can make more right <laughs> 
uh, I need to double check my list and see how it's going, but one of the things on the list is to do this, so that's why I'm taking care of this, and then, yeah, we'll just, we'll go from there. I'm excited. I'm so excited to see it finished. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's really close. Oh, I'm zoomed in, that's why. I got all of my embroidery into hoops except for the crane because of the colors. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one. I don't know. Anyways, practice, right? I also managed to burn myself just a little bit right at the tip there. I don't know if you can see uh, with the hot glue gun. I was sad. I'm still sad about it. It hurts. Basically, I was trying to press the fabric into the glue and completely missed the fabric and just stuck my finger in it instead. But I'll show you the progress. So leave me alone. Let us be grateful. <laughs> Knife to meet you. <laughs> this frog dude. The pew pew pew. I'm a little bit concerned because when it dried after I got it wet, it's got a little bit of water stain here. So I think I might have to get it wet again, but we'll see. Um, the way <laughs> and the you're just as sane as I am. I also put some lace around this one because I thought it would look cute, this um, girls supporting girls, but it doesn't really lay the, like I would prefer if it was like, I don't know, like that or something. So I'm either gonna have to take this off or figure it out, I don't know, but anyways, it kinda cute, not really. <laughs> but yeah, so everything that I have done except for the crane is in a hoop. I just putting my finger back in this cold water because it really hurts. I'm kind of falling apart right now, honestly, because my finger, but also my knee has just been killing me today. After a couple days of like really getting a lot better, today it's just like, no. But that's okay, I can tape it. I haven't taped it for a couple days because like I said, it was getting better and I should take a look at my list now. I did catch up while I was doing this on pick, pick of the Litter, which is the guide dog training docu-series on Disney Plus. Wow, that was a lot of words. And it's really good. I quite enjoy it. And I did that. So we're making steps. Slowly making steps. It is currently a 10 to 5, if you were wondering. And I'm actually kind of faced with a problem that I can't really use my finger to type, so I can't do that. And um, maybe I'll read for a bit. That seems manageable. And then also probably put some polysporin and put a band-aid on this and that'll probably help. That's where we're at. I'm still feeling pretty good. I'm not like ready to pass out, which is great. So 7.30 wasn't too early. Tomorrow I'm gonna try for six, especially because I have quite a bit of footage from today's vlog. So I was close this morning and I got the vlog up at like 10 after eight, give or take. I would not be able to do that <laughs> tomorrow morning with the amount of footage I have. Yeah, I'm gonna go read because it's been a couple days since I read and I'm very, and I, I wanna read. That's the thing I like to do. Let's get an actual plan here. I'm going to deal with this. I'm gonna put a Band-Aid and Polysporin on it because even reading will be a pain if I have to stay with my fingers stuck in this ramekin of water. And then I will read for a bit and then we'll see what time it is, see if we're feeling dinner. My mom and I ate uh, lunch or whatever it was, brunch, at like 11.30, I think, so. And obviously my bed can use a slight bit of a tidy. We went to Walmart and I picked up these scissors and I was hoping that I could use the painting shears in here. I think those are them. Uh, but they're more for paper than they are for fabric, so that didn't work, but that's fine because these are super cute and they'll be fun to play with. And then I also picked up this flannel um, cause I saw some really cool things that I want to try on, um, embroidering and I don't have like a flat and all, so. But again, I can't really try anything right now because of my four finger. So I'm going to go, I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to chill, kick back and read and then figure out the next step from there. I've been rambling for like almost six minutes on this. Okay, I'm going to go. Alrighty, so it's just after eight o'clock now. My room is nice and tidy again uh i had dinner and now i'm just gonna watch a little bit of survivor and do some embroidery i want to try to get to sleep around 10 ish tonight so i figure i have about 
an hour and a bit of productivity before I should start winding down. There's other things on my list that I definitely could get into, but I feel like they all require a little bit more time than what I have available. But it's fine because I'm going to wake up at 6 tomorrow. And we're going to have a very productive day. It is storming outside really badly right now. I can hear it. You probably can't. But yeah, it's really um, coming down now, which is fantastic. It's fine. I don't need to leave the house ever again until Tuesday. It's supposed to rain all week. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just going to sit here and do a little bit of work, watch some Survivor. It's nice because like, I've seen all these episodes of Survivor, so it's like I don't really need to pay attention. I know how they end. <laughs> So I started working on a thing and I hated it. It's um, the Space Ranger logo from uh, Toy Story Buzz Lightyear and I was gonna do to infinity and beyond underneath of it but my pen is not very well suited to drawing on that so I was getting really frustrated because I couldn't see my lines and I kept having to redraw it and then it wasn't quite right so I decided to switch focus. Let me pull up the inspo. I've been seeing this girl. Her username is chromatic underscore mania. She does these aerial field shots and I think they're so cool. And so I am attempting to do an aerial field shot except these are all French knots and I didn't know how to do French knots. So I've been learning how to do French knots with moderate success I like went down because my mom taught me how to embroider I was like mom do you know how to do French knots and she's like no and she's like oh I think I know what you're talking about just didn't know what they're called and she's like yeah just like this and she did the exact same thing I was doing which was trying to make French knots and then just creating stitches it's so neat though because it's like 3d um <laughs> so I had watched a video and it just whew, and then we watched the video together and I like really watched it and then I understood the process because that's what I needed to understand and so pretty consistently getting them. So we're slowly putting some trees around the edge. I'm probably gonna go all the way like down here. I'm gonna do some more down here, etc. And then satin stitch, another stitch that I haven't been using a lot to fill in the fields. But yeah, I, th I think that just looks so cool. Anyway, it is currently 9.55, which means it's time for me to close out a survivor and to start getting ready for bed. So with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure where I feel like I got quite a bit done. I feel like it could have been better, but baby steps. And I will see you tomorrow. We do very similar things. Good night.